Hey everybody, my name is Nathaniel and I'm a master electrician. I have an electrical business and I love teaching people about the electrical trade. Today we're going to be talking about transfer switches and how to select the right one for your home. Right in front of us we have a Reliance Controls transfer switch. This particular model here is a six circuit uh, transfer switch. Now one common question I get is that customers want to do is install these in their home. So the first thing I always ask them is how old is their home? Well, as soon as they tell me their home was built in like 2018, I tell them, no, I'm sorry, you cannot install this transfer switch in your home. And customers will say, well, I had an electrician say that they can do it. I say, well, you might be able to do it on a couple circuits in your home, but you're not gonna be able to get your living room, your bedrooms, because they're all on arc fault breakers. See, as the code changes, we have to update things. And arc fault breakers will not work with this particular model because these are uh, don't to have breakers that you can replace. It has a pre-wiring harness that only has one neutral. And with arc fault breakers, you gotta have a neutral for every breaker. So that means we'd have to have six neutrals in the wiring harness, and it just doesn't come that way. So if you have a home that was built prior to 2000, yeah, you can use a Reliance Controls unit. But if it was built after that, you're gonna start finding that you got arc fault breakers and they're just not gonna work. They're just not compatible. But we're gonna show you a transfer switch that is compatible and what you can use and have installed by your local electrician. Next, we're gonna be discussing about our inlet. Now, our electrical inlet should be installed outside your home. And when you run your cord and you run in your generator, you wanna make sure that your generator is a sufficient distance from the home. I usually recommend at least six feet with the exhaust facing away from the home. But always follow your owner's manual with your generator for for any additional details that it may have, as it could save your life. Unfortunately, a lot of people die each year because of generators, carbon monoxide poisoning. So make sure you follow your owner's manual for that. Okay, so I told you we're gonna talk about a transfer switch that you can install with arc fault breakers. And the Generac Home Link is one of those panels. See, these electrical breakers here, they can be replaced with an arc fault breaker. So whatever you have in your home that's existing, that's an arc fault breaker, and just you know, it's gonna be like the ones with a little reset button on it, are gonna be either a GFI breaker or your arc fault breaker, or even a combination AFCI, GFCI breaker. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely wanna have an electrician come out to your house. Remember, don't do anything you're not certified to do or don't have experience doing. So with this particular unit, it's gonna have all the different neutrals that you need for each circuit. And they have a number that correlate with the circuit. So you simply just match up the, the, the number that's on the hot with the neutral number, and that makes one set. So that would go to your breaker, one breaker. Okay, that's basically how that works. Always want to look at your owner's manual, uh, but this particular model here, uh, there are other types that are out on the market too that are that are similar, that will work with your arc fault breakers. But it's going to have to be something like this in order to do so. Now, one nice thing about about this transfer switch here, and of course you would have all the breakers in the on position when you're normally using your your household appliances and everything in your house. So nothing here would change. The only thing you would do is you would just come over here and you hook up your generator. Generator would be outside, it'd be running. It's time to use your generator. You wanna power the circuits that are in your box. Mind you, the only things that are gonna turn on are the circuits that you had pre-selected that are in this box right here, those circuits. And you would come over here and you just simply select that switch and you'd be running off of the generator power from your portable generator. And when you're ready to go back to utility power, this little light here will light up. You'll know that you have utility power again, and you simply click this button and it would transfer back. And that's it. That's how you would uh, use this particular uh, transfer switch 
a box for a portable generator. This is also compatible with more of a standby generator. However, it is not automatic. So if you want to go with an automatic transfer switch, you would have to have that system installed and that's a completely different setup. But the majority of us, this is a much more affordable way to go than spending tens of thousands of dollars on a standby generator. Okay, in case you missed it, don't forget to check out my generator video. And there's a lot of helpful tips there for helping you decide what kind of generator to get. And I hope you enjoyed watching about our transfer switches and selecting one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.